browsing around the web recently, I came across a community of photographers who make their own black and white film developer out of coffee and vitamin C, which they call caffeinol. Now, I couldn't quite believe it at first, so I had to try it for myself. Here's how to do it. First, let's take a look at what you need. You'll need a film development tank and reel, which you can get from a photo shop that sells darkroom supplies, a can opener, some measuring cups and spoons, and a pair of scissors. For materials, you'll need instant coffee, vitamin C powder, washing soda, which is also called soda ash. You can find it at a pool supply store or online. Some room temperature water, it doesn't have to be distilled, some photo fixer, which can also be found in a Photoshop with darkroom supplies, dishwashing detergent, and some clothespins. Oh, that's right, and an exposed roll of film. I wouldn't recommend using this method for taking photos at an important event unless you've tested it thoroughly. So for your sister's wedding, I'd stick with your trusty digital camera. Any of the more uncommon items, such as the film development tank, the reels, the washing soda, and the fixer, are all very inexpensive and can be found online if you don't have a store that sells them locally. The first step is to get the film out of the canister, which must be done in absolute darkness. So find a windowless room in your home and tape up any light leaks around the door. I'm going to be doing it in daylight for demonstration purposes only. Use your can opener to pop off the bottom of the film canister and remove the film. Cut the tapered end off the roll. If you're using plastic reels like this one, you'll insert the end of the film where the tabs are and feed it through with your fingers. Then you'll rotate the flanges of the reel back and forth to draw the film through it. At the end, you'll cut the film at the core and feed the rest of the film into the reel. Insert your reel into the tank. This tank takes two reels, but I'll use only one for film. Then put the top on. Now you can turn the lights back on since the film is protected from the light. Let's make the developer now. In 6 ounces of water, mix 5 teaspoons of instant coffee. Do not use decaffeinated, it just won't work. Then add a half a teaspoon of vitamin C powder to that solution and stir. In another cup of 6 ounces of water, mix 3.5 teaspoons of washing soda. After it is dissolved, mix the solutions together. Just be warned, this solution has an absolutely foul stench. In fact, it smells worse than a garbage can of rotten Lindberger cheese inside the Holland Tunnel. Set the developer aside to make the fixer. The bottle you get will have a concentrated solution, so check the packaging to see how much water to add. This particular brand calls for 3 parts water for 1 part fixer, so I'll take 9 ounces of water and pour in enough fixer to bring it to 12 ounces. The next step is to pour the developer into the tank and start a timer. The film should sit in the developer for about 9 minutes. Seal the top and agitate the developer for the first minute. You can see that I'm not only flipping the tank upside down and back, but I'm also giving it a quarter turn each time. After the first minute, agitate the developer 3 times every minute. Give it a tap on the table to loosen up any bubbles that may form on the emulsion. After 9 minutes, quickly pour out the developer. Then rinse the film after the caffeinol is poured out. Pour in water, agitate 3 or 4 times, and dump it. Repeat this rinse step twice more. Now pour in the fixer from before. Let it sit for 5 minutes, agitating 3 times each minute. You don't have to dump the fixer down the drain since it's reusable, at least for a little while. Now you'll rinse the film four times, agitating the water in the tank more and more each time. On the fourth rinse, add a drop of dishwasher detergent, which ensures the film dries spot-free. After you've dumped out the water, open the tank and remove the film. Hang it from a string or a clothesline to dry. This particular negative turned out really dark due to being in the developer for too long. The first time I tried this, I had the film in the developer for 12 minutes and got the dark negative on top. I then tried 8 minutes, and you can see that it looks much better on the negative below that. The temperature of the developer is also a factor, so keep that in mind when you're tweaking your method. Here are some scans from the negatives. As you can see, even the overdeveloped negative can produce an image, albeit a very grainy one. This image was developed for 8 minutes and shows a much finer grain and more contrast. 
Here are a few more of my test images. So, I admit, I was skeptical about this homemade film developer called Cafinol, but it actually works, and quite a bit better than I expected, actually. Now, if you've ever tried any of the online recipes that are out there, post your favorite in the comments, and post your Cafinol photographs to the Make Flickr pool. Until next time, so long.